and Dr. Musot. Today we want to talk about the Ndebele state. The Ndebele state. But we want to focus on the economy of the Ndebele state. How their economy was organized. Let's start with agriculture. Let's start with agriculture. Their economy, it was based on agriculture. We're talking about the growing of our crops. They grew sorghum, millet, rabobo, and wheat. So we see agriculture playing an important part in their economy. Their economy, we also see a variety. It was based on pastoralism. Pastoralism, we are talking about the keeping of cattle, sheep, and goats. From cattle, they got meat, they got milk, they got hides. So we see pastoralism playing an important part in their economy. In the Nevada State, they practiced what was known as the uh, paddock system. Animals, cattle, they were put in paddocks depending on the season. So when it was not a season for rain, we see that animals, they were sent to another paddock which is good grazing pastures. So paddock system played an important part in their economy. Their economy it was also based on the issue of raising. Yet a raiding culture. Raiding was so important. It was so significant. It was so instrumental. They raided neighboring tribes for a booty. They raided neighboring tribes for what a food. So raiding played an important part in their economy. But however, it is important not to overemphasize this issue of raiding. The Nebele only raided rebellious chiefdoms. But those chiefdoms who collaborated, who went hand in hand with the Nebele, we see that they were not raided. But those who were rebellious, they were usually raided by the Nebele. So raiding was so instrumental. It was essential. It was important. It was vital uh, in the Nebele state. They copied this culture from the Nguni land. It was practiced in the Nguni land. We also see that their economy it was based on a trade. Trade also played an important part in their economy. They traded with foreigners. They got foreign items from this trade that they conducted. But however, it is important to note that all the trading activities they were controlled by the king. Then, we also see that tribute payment also played an important part in their economy. They paid tribute to their leader, being Kosi, in order to show respect or loyalty. So tribute play, uh, payment played an important part in their economy. Their economy, it was also based on a pottery, making of a pot. We see that it was important. It was also based on basketry. Basketry was also done in the Nebele estate. It was also based on hunting and what a gathering. Hunting and gathering played also an important part in their economy. They hunted for animals. Women gathered fruits. So we see these economical activities are playing an important part. Fishing also played an important part in their economy. Then their economy it was also based on the Inwala festival. The Inwala celebrations, they were so important. This was the celebration of the harvest of the first fruits. So they brought in their first fruits. They celebrated thanking their God, thanking their ancestors for providing adequate what rainfall. So the Inwala festival, it was an important economical activity. At the same time, it was an important social what activity that they practiced. We talk about mining. Mining, iron smelting, again, playing an important part in their economy. So these were the economical activities that were done in the Debele estate. I thank you so much. It's Dr. Mosul.